Good morning, YouTube. So, it's been raining in Boone for like 12 years now. And uh, it's actually not raining right now. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to come out and remove the dash from the Mustang right quick. And get the gauge cluster out so we can put the, the new stepper motors in. Now you see why my hair is always up in these videos. But, uh, so I'm gonna try to get this knocked out today. So hopefully that's fixed. But let me turn you around and kind of show you what we're doing and then that way we'll all be on the same page. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pop the dash up from right here. And this whole thing should actually come out as one piece. And uh, let's see, this, this car is incredibly dirty. Need to get that fixed, honestly. But there's that. And try to get under the edge here. There we go. Ta da. Just like that. And there's your gauge bezel. And there should be four seven millimeter bolts. So there's one, two up top, two on the bottom. You see it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys off so I can undo those and get this thing out of here and then go from there. And your gauge cluster just comes out just like that. And there's a connection right there. You see the little clip. You can take your screwdriver and just pop that little clip right there, the little gray one. Pop it up and then the panel should just pull right off. But let me go ahead and do that and <clears throat> then I will get back. Okay, so you see gauge cluster is now out all you do is just slide that little clip the little gray clip over and that's pretty much what you're left with so get these tools actually they can all stay right there because we're gonna have to put this thing back all right so now take our cluster go back in the house disassemble it and there should only be yeah, there's these little just clips like off of a uh, uh, I forget how to describe it, but those they just pop off and then we uh, from there we're basically just going to um, desorder, I guess, uh, a connection in there and then put in a new one so anyway i'm gonna get a few things together i'll be right back yeah. okay so you see these clips here now what we need to do is just pop those loose and that will allow us to separate the external part of this fascia now there should be some more that connect yeah see those right there and those are what actually holds the front part to the back part here I don't want to tear it up so I'm trying to be trying to be easy those now there's some more here along the bottom go ahead and pop those loose
and with anything i'm using a screwdriver may not be the best way to do this but it's what i had handy and it appears to be appears to be working okay so Corner one just doesn't want to come off of there. I mean, you obviously don't want to don't want to break it because you got to reuse it. So, all right. So now we've got this part separated from the actual case that it lives in. Um, now in order to get where we actually need to get, we have to take the, the needles off. Um, the one that I'm actually having to replace is the, uh, the stepper motor for the, for the tack. Um, all of my other gauges appear to be working, and I have no reason to, to mess with them. Um, but like I said, that, that tack has got to be replaced. Um, and the best way I've heard to, to do this is with a small pair of tweezers. Um, slides up under the, the needle itself and just pops it up. Um, and in my messing around this morning, I haven't went and got that yet. So let me go get that and go ahead and get these needles off and then I'll get back. Okay, so I did not use the tweezers because we didn't have the particular ones that I was looking for. Um, I used the fork, being very careful. I had a ton of resistance um, pulling it up, um, but it's it's off, it's fine. There's no, no issue, I didn't break anything. Um, and now, what we can do is actually look at our panel here. Um, and this motor here is actually our faulty motor. So what we're gonna do is there are these four joints there, the little solder locations. Um, we're gonna undo those and then literally just pull the old motor out and then put our new motor in. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the soldering iron back up and get this knocked out and uh, hopefully, and I'm just using a just regular Harbor Freight soldering iron. Um, I really, really wish I had one of the just regular handhelds that I guess is battery operated. Um, that would make something like this incredibly easier. That doesn't sound right in my head as far as the grammar goes, but either way, I think that would be so much easier because then you don't, you're not limited by this strap or cord rather. Um, and then maybe, you know, you could have a little better aim at this. Hey. Don't run off like that. Okay, so this should be hot enough now to where touch it to our solder. Not yet, so I'm just gonna cut you off until I get this out because I think it might take a minute. Okay, so this was kind of a pain in the butt, but as you can see, there are little dabs of sorter. Each spot, bam, 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 bam. Our drive is in the center, and this thing is fixed, I guess. 
So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and reassemble everything and uh, go put it back in the car and see if it works. So. And so I put the dash back in the car and uh, as you can see, our tack is now working. Our speedometer is a little bit off, which all I'd have to do is take the take the needle back out or take the face back off and clean it up and move it around a little bit. But the tack is working and that's awesome. So I guess that kind of concludes this video. Thank y'all for watching and uh, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe if you have any questions. Um, like I said, I've tried to say in my other videos, I'm not the best at any of this, but I'll, I'll do everything in my power to help you. So I hope y'all, <clears throat> again, keep working on stuff, keep doing great, and uh, have a good day.